goes, let's say it goes nothing. Okay, I've got my headphones on, so if I sound weird, it's because I can't hear myself. Uh, right, so here's a a Brave window. Brave is Chrome, it's the same thing, and it will work with any app. Now, when you click this button here, right, normally on a PC that just makes it full screen width, as in width and height. But on a Mac, it does this. It hides everything. So literally, that is your screen. And if you bring your pointer up to the top, it comes back again. You take it down, it disappears. It's a bit gnarly in this app. It doesn't look quite as good as it does in most apps, but it's OK. This app's, I don't know, not made by professionals, but I like it because it doesn't track you. Anyway, and yeah, do you like the, the <laughs> this is the Bob Marley theme. <laughs> anyway, right. Um, so basically, to get out of it, lift up and click that button again. As you can see, the pointers pointing towards each other. And that takes you out of full screen. Now they point out away from each other. So that shows that it'll go to full screen. So if you get what I mean. So with Magnet, right, all I do is I lift it up to the top of the screen and it does that. And I let go and it makes it full screen, which is kind of cool. And if I pull it off, it goes back to its original size again. And if I grab it and bring it over this side, look, I could do half a screen. I can do it to that side of the screen. I can drag it down and do it to the bottom of the screen. If I let go, then look, it just does it to the bottom of the screen. So it's really good for very quickly resizing windows um, inside one monitor. So I just bring that up and do that. Now that's using Magnet, which is just a little pr uh, program I downloaded and it just installs, it asks you for your system password because it needs to install over your system. So it is permanently built in. You can turn it off. Um, anyway, so that's the way you do that. But either way, you can just do this. Yeah, click on there and just do it like you would on a PC. And then when it's set, it's set, it won't change. So it's done. Now if I open up a new, one. I'm just going to do it this way. Normally, Apple N look will give me a new window or command then. But I'm going to just do a few this way so you can see me doing it instead of doing it with hotkeys. I'll do this one with a hotkey look. There you go. So I've got three and they've all got new backgrounds. If I hold command down and hit the back tick or tilde, or whatever, that, that key, it's going through the different windows. Look, can you see? Look, some have got multiple tabs, some haven't. And to kind of prove that it's not me bullshitting you. Um, I'll resize a couple of these windows um, and I'll make that one go and that one like that. So now if I do it you can see clearly it's going between all the windows. So that works and that's just command back tick. Now if I make it full screen then it won't let me do it. So I'm hitting the command back tick now it won't let me do it. So uh, either hitting that key I get, oh sorry, uh, going control and the up key will show me all those windows anyway and I can just move my mouse and click on whichever I want which is pretty quick there's no messing around it's not difficult I mean the mice track better on a Mac than they do on a Windows PC anyway they're more accurate on the Windows PC mouse tracking is a little bit jumpy at least that's the way I find it you might find it a bit slow on a Mac but to me I find it jumpy on a PC I guess it's what you get used to so I mean that's basically it um, I'm trying to think of something else I could show you, but that'll do for now. All right, dude, catch you in a bit.